Well, hey, everybody. How are you? Thanks for joining me again. Kevin here. Now, if you work in corporate training and you have subject matter experts reading, they are not going to have good mouth control or breath control, so you're going to need this technique. And also, I know some professionals who also have a hard time controlling some of those breath or mouth noises in their audio. So we have Audacity open and I have a waveform. So let's take a look at this. First, I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it. And then let's take a look at the right way. So the wrong way might be to hit Command A or Control A, select all of it and go up to Effect and then Noise Reduction. Because most people would think, well, it's Audacity. Let's just use the noise reduction. But the problem is, if you reduce the noise and noise reduction, you are also going to reduce all of the good noise as well, all of the good audio. So you don't want to use noise reduction because you're going to get rid of some of the bad stuff, but you're also going to compromise the quality of your good stuff as well. So let's not do it that way. Let me show you a better way. So let's take a look here at our first issue, and that is right here. So let's highlight that, and we're going to go to Effects, Amplify. And I'm going to choose minus six. And you can see that drops it down, and if I hit Command or Control R, I drop it down again. Now notice I'm not taking it all the way down, because here's where you need to be careful. If you go all the way down with it, what happens is you can get it to where there's no room tone. It's dead silent. And dead silence in between your words will sound even worse than some of the, the mouths and the breath noises. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. Highlight, Command R. And there you go. That looks good. So this takes a few moments, but I will guarantee you guys it works a whole lot better than ruining some of your good audio. So once you get the hang of it, it goes along pretty quickly. So any of this stuff in here, not good. This little guy here, I could take down a tiny bit more. And then that's about it right there. So guys, I hope you learned something there. That is the absolute right way to go ahead and um, clean up your audio from little breaths and mouth clicks in Audacity. And uh, as always, I want to thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.